Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to be doing a tablet review, but this time it's going to be a different kind of tablet. It's a graphics tablet, and XP Pen actually has sent me this Artist 12 tablet, and we're going to be looking at this today. Actually, they sent me two tablets. They also sent me the Star G640, and, but I'll be looking at this one in another video. Okay, I'm not being paid to do this review. They've only sent me this. Uh, I'm not being paid to do this, they just sent me this one for free and the other tablet but I'll try my best to review this as fairly as possible. This is my first graphic tablet though so I might be a bit biased but I'll try my best to be as fair and I'll say as much as my observations as possible. I mean it looks like a very promising tablet to be honest but let's get right into it. So uh, unboxing the Artist 12, we have this really nice box. It looks very professional. <laughs> It's a pretty nice unboxing experience actually. At the back we have all the specifications and such. Screen size and etc. Uh, believe it or not, it, Artist 12 isn't actually 12 inches. It's actually 11.6 inches. Uh, <laughs> well, what a scam, but well, close enough. The pressure sensitivity is 8192 actually. So opening this box up, we are greeted with the Artist 12 itself. So taking it out, you can see that it's really thin and it doesn't have any stand at the back for you to stand it up when you draw, but that, that's it. So removing the cover from the box, we are greeted with uh, more boxes and a number of power adapters and a cylinder. So inside this first box, we have all the essentials, the manuals, a piece of cloth and we have the glove. I'm quite glad that they gave the glove actually because um, without it you're going to like dirty your screen a lot because you rest your hand to draw, you know? Alright, so in the next box we have wires. We have uh, the regular wire you're supposed to plug into the Artist 12 and we it comes with one HDMI to Mac adapter so you can use this on a Mac as well. I've tested this on my sister's MacBook and it works just fine. So inside here we have the this cylinder, it's a pen holder. Unscrewing the big part, we reveal the pen itself. It's a P06 pen. It's a, it's a pretty neat pen. On the back has the eraser. One thing I don't really like though is that the button is really flat. On the other side, we have 8 nibs. It also serves as a nib remover. I was kind of disappointed at the number of nibs it gave, considering that their old models gives like a truck load. <laughs> That's fine. I guess they are a uh, higher quality in a sense. So XP Pen couldn't waste so many on it. Uh, as for the regular cable, it's HDMI, and you have to plug the HDMI into your computer or laptop, and another USB cable into the laptop or your computer, and one extra USB connected to it to a power source. So that's why there's so many power adapters. I guess it can be portable if you use a power bank on the power USB, but I, I think so. So onto the tablet itself. I really like the buttons at the side. I mean, hotkeys are given on any tablet, especially if you want to draw, but it comes with this touch bar. You can use it to scroll up and down, and it helps me a lot because I use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out on Photoshop, so that really helps me not move my mouse to the navigation bar or to my mouse to scroll to scroll up or down to zoom in or zoom out. I like how thin it is and the screen itself is an IPS panel so it's very clear wide viewing angles and it's generally really comfortable to draw on. One thing I know though is that the the response time on the tablet is quite slow. It's 14 ms. You can see it if you try to play also. The cursor lags behind the pen itself. I'm not sure whether this is a hardware or a software problem. I hope it's a software problem because I, I kind of want to try playing also on this properly. <laughs> but to be honest, slow response time for a graphics tablet is just fine because it helps drawing a lot more because you can draw smoother lines without 
lines being all wonky because of it being like completely precise. So that helps a lot. It's like having an inbuilt stabilizer without having it on the drawing software side. Alright, so this is for anyone who's wondering how it looks like on Osu, well, like, more footage of it. It's, uh, frankly speaking, <laughs> unplayable. <laughs> okay, there's no way. You can cheese this like this. You can you can see the input like my cursor, right? <laughs> I love Nightcore. I remember back then everyone was like complaining this was a farm map. But to be honest, this is actually a pretty damn hard farm, man. You can see it's shaking, right? I'm not shaking my pen at all. It's just shaking on its own. Holy shit, wait, what's happening? Is it because I have two tablets linked to each other? Wait, let me just put this away. <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? So the magnetic field technology does this. This is this is some this is some big brain high IQ IQ shit right there. Are you guys seeing this? As for the driver itself, it's very straightforward. I have really no complaints of the drivers actually. Uh, there's no need to play with areas. I, I guess I could wish that the driver window could be made bigger, but that's about it. You can change the color settings on the screen, and that's pretty much about it. How the graphic tablet works is that it works as a second or third monitor, so you can extend it, you can duplicate it, it, it works anyway. I really have no complaints to this tablet. Well, one biggest sell point to me is the price, like it's 250 USD, that is extremely cheap for a graphics tablet. So I really recommend this to anyone who's tight on cash. So uh, should you buy this? If you're an artist, yeah, totally. Because uh, to be honest, it's pretty damn cheap and the colors are pretty good and there's really no issues I've run into when I use this tablet except maybe the pen button is really flat but I'm not the kind of person that normally uses buttons on the pen and there is an eraser at the back so that's another plus but if you're going to get this for Osu I recommend you just don't and use that money on buying a proper tablet than, than one for a fun gimmick overall I rate this tablet a uh, I don't know, out of 10, because this is my first graphic tablet, so I'm not really sure myself. I've shown you guys what this tablet can do and can't do, it's not a touchscreen, but it's really comfortable to draw with, in my opinion. Uh, one thing I don't like is how there's no stand at the back, but you can buy it as a separate accessory. Maybe that's why they didn't add the stand so that it will be flat, but I don't really know. So, so yeah, uh, that's my review for the Artist 12, uh, thanks for watching.